Hey guys, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Switchlight um, AI tool, their online platform, to relight foreground elements, and how you can bring those relit keyframes into Nuke and um, use Nuke's Copycat node to generate data sets, and then use that to apply the same relight to rest of the sequence, rest of the frames, and uh, generate a video like this. Um, I got a lot of requests on how to do that, so let's dive in. All right, so we are in Nuke now, and I have uh, imported my sequence over here. Uh, I'm just using uh, Nuke um, non-commercial. Uh, fortunately, Nuke non-commercial uh, comes with uh, machine learning tools like Copycat, so that works for us. And so I'm bringing the sequence and just doing our, my custom um, quick rough key and just doing some edge expand just to making sure we don't have any wide edges around um, and then I mean the the AI to uh, switch light does have uh, AI key uh, feature but I just like doing my own just to be a little bit more accurate and so what I'm doing is I'm just writing that off um, as a PNG sequence so all the frames as PNG sequence which has an alpha and so when you write it out you should have all the keyframes all the frames all right so now we're gonna pick frames which we want to feed into the ai so what i've realized that um you have you need to pick frames which have ex some extreme actions um which gives a lot of information to ai to work with so i'm gonna pick um, some of these ones uh, this one and this one with his hand is in front of uh, his chest in his eyes and some of these and some of that and that so eight frames in total and we're gonna copy that and I'm gonna copy that into another folder called keyframes so these would be our keyframes which will go into uh, the AI. So let's uh, jump to Beeble's Switchlight AI. All right, so we are um, in Switchlight uh, online platform now, and you can see um, you have a bunch of HDRIs to choose from, uh, which you want uh, to use to relight your foreground elements. Um, you can sign up for um, some credits uh, to play around with the tool. So I'm gonna go to create tab and then you have two options over here. So one is relight with HDR and then relight with portrait. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna be using a relight uh, with uh, HDR and just gonna click on that. It's all, by the way, it also has, um, they recently added a relight to video, uh, relight video feature. I haven't really, like, really tested it out first um, and I also feel like sometimes it's uh, bringing it in new gives you a little bit more control over it if you want to train uh, with higher number of images you can do that and you know modify the image a little bit and uh, so we're gonna go to relight image and then over here we have the interface is fairly basic uh, and straightforward um, so you have to so you have option to upload your own HDRIs and I'm just gonna pick uh, what they have in their presets and I'm gonna pick this one over here so that's gonna be my HDRI and I'm gonna select all the frames we chose and say open so it will load that into the interface and in a moment we should have some visuals there you go so you can see um, it has already done some relighting and we have options to rotate the HDRI uh, what I've noticed that if sometimes it's a little it's over relighting so what I try to do is reduce this number the strength number to maybe 0.5 and you can sort of see in this uh, little preview that how it's affecting the sphere and how much intensity you want it so I'll just keep it at maybe 0 0.6 and then say apply to all There you go that one looks much better 
so another thing I would like to do is go into advanced options and switch to use alpha because we already have alpha in our PNG and I'll say apply all so we have some uh, we have better edges let's give it some time there you go and now you can see we have our really foreground and if you go to these tabs you can see what's it's doing under the hood so we have a normal and we also have an albedo so albedo basically it's taking the AI is taking out all the reflection and lighting from that foreground element and then using that in condition with normal to relight it uh, and we also have the foreground so um, you can see the composite over here so I think we are done with the online part of the three lighting and now we're just gonna download all these passes so it's gonna download all yeah so once downloaded you will have all the passes uh, which we just saw in the online portal the albedo um, the the relight and everything so we're just gonna bring all this in nuke and we'll start uh, training our copycat node so let's jump back to nuke all right, so back in Nuke, we're going to be needing two sets of uh, data. What would be the actual uh, source which we supply to Switchlight and the other would be the output from Switchlight. So first I'm going to bring in the input, which is basically our keyframes, which we supply to Keylight. And the other would be our ground truth. So I'm going to bring in, bring in these foreground ones. and this one as well all right so another thing i like to do is actually set the global frame range uh, corresponding to the number of frames we are dealing with so right now with eight frames so i set it to one to eight and set my teal trim line to eight and now we can go ahead and put these into a sequence so i'm going to use an append clip node and just add these this will put all of these images into uh, into frames, into this timeline. And it's gonna copy that, do the same for our input. So once that, now we can visually check that other than the lighting, the format, the action remains same. So now the copycat node basically sees this difference and then try to train the data sets to um, uh, mimic this lighting so I'm gonna use a copycat node to do that alright so in the copycat node the first thing you need to do is give it uh, a path where the data would be stored and epoch is basically the number of times the copycat node goes through the data and uh, try to iterate over it so in my experience uh, 40,000 is a good one to start with it will still have some flicker but that's a good number to start with and pretty much uh, that's it rest of the things you can keep it default and you can just hit start training and it will start training and then it will also give you a graph over here so as the graph uh, flattens that's uh, when you come to know that it's actually um, progressing in a positive way um, you also get this preview over here so you can see our input uh, image over here our ground tooth over here and that's this is where our copycat is trying to mimic the lighting and learn the lighting um, so, so yeah, I've already trained it and I have a data set ready. So we'll just uh, jump to uh, that and then see the results. All right, so the training is done. And uh, now I'm going to bring in uh, our sequence, which is uh, our not related sequence. And the copycat node, if you go there and then say create inference, it's going to create a node with all that data that train data and then if you connect that to the sequence you can see we have our um, real it run so that's how it works and um, for the background what I did is I can just walk to you through 
the background setup I have. So um, unfortunately, you don't get the background from um, Switchlight. So what I did is um, I took the the relit composite pass, which gets output by um, by Switchlight, and then passing it through the alpha, uh, punching a hole in the background, then just doing some uh, in painting using the in pin node, and um, a little bit of paint out, and. Um, then I'm doing a little bit of D flicker as well, um, just to reduce any other uh, f leftover flickering, and just doing a pre mold and then slapping that back on. Um, and then you you have the background on the foreground as well. So yeah, that's how relighting works using uh, Foundry Nuke and Switchlight AI. Uh, I think it's really powerful um, in terms of compositing as well because when if you have let's say if you have elements. In different lighting conditions so you can bring in those elements in, into nuke or pass it through uh, uh, switch light ai and relight those elements so that it's easier to uh, blend them into your composites um, i hope in future um, switch light comes up with a native nuke plugin uh, where you don't have to go to the online platform and just do everything inside nuke do the whole relighting in nuke i think that will be really helpful um so yeah this 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 was how i did this and um yeah so thank you thank you so much for watching i hope this was uh, helpful and um cheers